Hello again, everybody. This is Derek, and I am coming back at you with another Wargaming and Miniature video. In today's video, we're going to continue on with our What's in the Box series. And in today's What's in the Box, we're going to be taking a look at Plastic Soldier Company's German Stowage and Tank Commander's Sprues. Uh, it looks like you get three sprues. Uh, you can see the black label at the top. That lets you know that it is a 15 millimeter because like red I think is uh, 20 millimeter and blue I think is their 28 millimeter stuff yeah so if you see black you know it's 15 millimeter now there's also a painting guide uh, for early war variants and for late war variants uh, and this is all Vallejo colors very nice and then it kind of lets you know what's in the sprue. It tells you what the tank commanders are, their binocular arms, their bags. And then over here you got barrels and boxes, tank tracks. But then you also got rifles and machine guns, Panzerfaust, submachine gun, Panzer Shrek, jerry cans. And bogey wheels for various types of vehicles. Panzer IV, Panzer III, Panzer II, 38T. Okay. Ten Commanders option Echo, Delta, Charlie, Bravo, Alpha. And then you have German car drivers and passengers. That's great. Because if I've got a Jeep or a Kubelwagen, not a Jeep, but if I've got like a Kubelwagen, I need a crew member, I could just grab one of these guys. Especially a driver. Water bottles, plural, helmets, bags, steering wheels. So we just need a steering wheel. 88 millimeter crates, 50 millimeter rifle ammo, an ammo crate option three. Uh, 88 ammo basket, 75 millimeter ammo box, 50 millimeter ammo, and ammo crate option one. Medium tarp, large tarp, medium tarp, small tarp, just tarp, 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 tarp. So this is if you want to add a little life, a little flare or flash to your uh, model. Let's go ahead and open it up and see exactly what we're getting in the inside. Three sprues. No description, none needed, because it's all right there. And all three of these sprues are going to be the same. And we already just, okay, different types of tracks. Heavy tank tracks, light tank tracks, medium tank tracks. Okay, so it doesn't really tell you. Heavy, medium, light. You just match it up to whatever the tank is barrels are done in halves so you have to glue them together crates are double-sided that's good tarps nice just extra machine guns and rifles panzer shreks you can just lay okay there's a wheel i don't remember seeing that Large toolbox and a spare tire. Large toolbox, spare tire. Very nice. Some of these passengers have hats. Some of them have helmets. These are bino arms that I guess you would attached to these two or four tank commanders 
different type of backpacks. You got one with a mess kit and one with a helmet. One, I don't know what that is. Kind of looks like, oh, okay, maybe it's upside down. Yeah, it looks like it's got a rope tied to it and a helmet sitting on the top of it. What do they call that? They call that a helmet bag water. Okay. <laughs> okay, so maybe that's not rope. Maybe that's a water bag. Possible. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in close, take a look at this, and see exactly what these look like up close. All right, we're going to start at the top where you got the steering wheels. You got your hand, it looks like 3 and 11. You got your bino arms. Different packs, water bottles, helmets. Like one has a cover, one doesn't. Backpack. Just little bed rolls. That's that helmet bag water. Yeah, I guess that's a water bottle on the bottom of it. Then you got these two backpacks, one with a helmet, one without. Now, you could always just snip these out and glue them directly to an actual infantry figure, but it's designed to be mounted to a vehicle. Okay, here's some tank commanders. You get a ton of tank commanders. Various poses, tarps, various sizes. You get weapons that can just be glued somewhere on the tank or leaning up on the inside of a half track or something like that. Or on the outside if you're doing a diorama. Tracks. Rear tire, tire toolbox. Bogey wheels. Jerry cans. Uh, looks like an ammo box. Uh, barrels. These are halves. Ammo crates. Various sizes. Passengers for cars. Or, or. Now, those guys look like drivers. Because they're missing their hands and it looks like they need those steering wheels. Tanks, uh, commanders, different types of hats uh, so that you can put those bino arms on them. Uh, sticking way out or barely sticking out. All right, well, with three sprues, well, just one sprue, you get a ton of stuff. But this set comes with three sprues, so you should have enough boxes to do whatever you want to do. Now, what I personally do is I play a game called Battle Group. I actually play this game. And whenever I get like an anti-tank gun or an artillery piece or even a tank, if it has... Uh, additional boxes uh, what I've been doing is taking these boxes and actually putting them on the infantry bases and creating uh, a special type of stand or a special type of unit that is in the game battle group it's called a loader stand uh, and what that or loader team and what that does is it gives your units a higher rate of fire and three additional crew members. So like you could add it to a mortar or you can add it to a any tank gun or a artillery piece or something like that, giving it additional firepower. And I could easily take some of these, uh, maybe not the infantry or the crew, the tank crews, but I have other infantry and other uh, artillery crew members 
that uh, I have available extras. And I could take these ammo boxes and put them on those stands and make some additional loader teams. Um, I've been wanting to do the barrels. I've been wanting a bunch of barrels, and I'm glad to see that there are barrels in this set because I think that would really stand out on a infantry base, you know, having a barrel sitting on it. Uh, and maybe a few extra weapons just laying around uh, might actually look good on an infantry base as well. Uh, specifically if you're doing um, the loader teams. But if you also just want to add a little life to your vehicles, you can always glue these onto your tanks or jeeps or armored cars or whatever you've got. And don't forget, it does come with a painting guide back here. Uh, and it tells you early war variants, you know, what it should be painted. And then late war variants, what they should be painted. Uh, and this is all just recommended. So, uh, so it's really up to you. But I really think this is a nice set. Um, I need to get, I need to get it maybe a British or a, or an American set. Um, I don't think they even make those. So, but a barrel is a barrel is a barrel, right? So I could take one of these barrels and put it on my British. I can take one of these crates and put it on my British. I mean, it would be so hard to tell um, the difference. Now, maybe not the specific 88 or the 50 millimeter boxes, but just something that says large crate, I could do, or large tarp, I could definitely do. All right, guys, thanks for coming out and checking this out. If you're looking for miniatures, you should check out my eBay store right there. And if you need something painted uh, for commission, you should check out my email address, drop me an email, ask me what my rates are, and we'll get that ball rolling. All right, guys, thanks for coming out and checking this out. And I'll see you in the next one.